In this video, I'm going to show you my brand new setup that's changed the game for me and it fits all in a fanny pack. Let's get into it. So over the years, I've been pretty happy with the amount of portability I've been able to get out of my plain air setup. So I've gone from, you know, oil painting with the giant French easel in the very, very beginning to paring down to um, some various different oil painting setups that get smaller and smaller. Then I've pretty much switched to doing gouache for the majority of my plain air stuff. And I have a pretty nice box that'll handle most of the paper that I would be interested in working on. I thought that I could still get even more portable and I got a little bit inspired by the Nathan Falk watercolor book. And he shows a little setup that fits in uh, most small bags. And taking what I've built from my larger gouache setup and paring it down even smaller, I created this little thumb box. And the way this one works is just the same as my um, bigger setup, but it's about half the size and it's just got one part that flips out like that. But the great thing is it doesn't need a tripod at all. It just fits on my left hand and I hold it just like that. I put all my things on it. My palette will go here. My paper will go there. My water cup will go there. And everything else just stays in my fanny pack as I paint. So let's just do a little deep dive and look at all the materials that I use in this setup while I'm out and about. All right. All right, how's it going guys? First we'll start with this front pocket. And I got one of these new gouache palettes and that come with a water cup. Although I'm not using the water cup itself. I'll show you what I'm using. But uh, what comes in this is a little paint saver palette inside of it. And then I use, normally I use this uh, part of the palette for mixing, but I need to clean it. It looks a little bit messier than my typical one I use, which is this one here, because I'm taking it around more, I'm doing more with the palette itself, but um, this is pretty cool. This actually comes out. Let's see how that does. And uh, this is a water cup that will pull out like so, and it even has a little part to store your brushes when you're painting on the side there, so. It's pretty cool. There's a little latch. So that keeps it from opening normally and keeps it secure inside there. So that's the first pocket. Um, this does have these little straps here that you can tighten and loosen, but I haven't yet figured out what to do with those. It's uh, <laughs> my little an old sock that I used to as a rag and then I have this little forget how many ounces this little jar is but it fits in my little thumb box which I'll show you in a bit but that's my water cup and then I just have some watercolor tubes and a white gouache for painting and then when I'm painting I, I'll actually uh, throw my brushes face up in this pocket or that pocket so that I'm not fishing around inside my bag for when I'm painting speaking of that's where my brushes are just have a small assortment um, they're both handy for watercolor and gouache. I got my watercolor. And then I could put more um, brushes specifically suited for watercolor in there, which I probably will. And I think I'll get a little um, pouch to put those in so they're not getting messed up. So this is my little thumb box. It's a modified version of my... Um, palette that I use or my uh, Peshad box that I use when I'm gouache painting in plein air. It's very much a similar um, 
build same materials just a little bit different um, a little bit pared down still has a flap that that you can uh, I made sure that my water cup fits in this little section here and then I cut out a little spot here for being able to hold it with my thumb and I think I still need to uh, put some padding and or um, sand this down so it's a little bit softer and a little bit easier on my um, on my thumb while I'm holding it because it does get a little heavy with everything on here in my sketchbook and all that but it does work pretty well for those purposes so that's um, all that that does and then I could I have like a little piece of, of uh, sticky foam tape that I can help to you put my um but yeah I got my clamps kind of hanging around in there that I use when I'm out and about and uh last part it's got this big thing in the back here that you can put your sketchbooks right now I just have this hot press um watercolor paper block it's not actually the most convenient to be carrying uh, be using for this particular setup although I do like having a little block to paint on. But all you do is just stick it there. And then this, um, that sticky piece of foam tape combined with uh, these clamps. We'll keep it from moving around. And so all you gotta do Pull this out, hold it like that, and it's right there in front of you. Just like that. So, and then I'll, might as well just demonstrate to you how I put this together. Let's take this out. So getting a little used to it. <laughs> so I found that while I'm painting, this thing will move around if I don't secure it. So I actually have another. So you get a eight pack of these at the dollar store and they are my go-to for keeping these things together. So I just clip this down and there you go. It's not going to move while you paint. So, got my um, my palette. Um, I'll just like, you know, just store it there for what I'm painting. And then I got my um, my rag or whatever I'll, I'll hold with my, my hand or, or even clip that down if I really want to. And then I got my water cup here. And then, yeah, that's all you need. You can just basically paint whatever you want, wherever you want. You can stand, sit, however you want to do it. And then when you're ready to be finished, you just put this back in storage. Still figuring out how to do this all one handed. <laughs> so that gets clipped down. into everything. If you want to, you can just throw this back into the back pocket there. Fits into that as well. And then just throw in everything else. Back into your kit.
Now, there you go, it's easy to uh, contain everything. It's a whole self-contained little system, has everything you need to make a painting and put back onto your hip whenever you're ready and that's it. Let's not forget this. like that. So it doesn't soak up. You know. Right, just so that when I uh, doesn't interfere. Exactly. The next uh, layers down doesn't like run everywhere. Is your thumb under the lid? Uh huh. Yes. Right here. Oh, look at that. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's so small to them to be perfect. <laughs> about to lose our brief amount of sun. <laughs> True. Surprised by how much blue sky there is, though. It's okay, it's almost done. Triples in the shadows, I see.
bit of should be highlights in that. It's in this. <laughs> Now you've seen it in action. Now you can see what it can do and how portable it can be. And so this will be great for people who have been really finding it difficult to get outdoors because of setup time. You don't want to get all wrapped up in the setting up and wanting to get discouraged from it just because you think that'll just take forever to get out there and, and start painting. Well. This is the least amount of friction between getting out the door and getting set up and painting. So if this inspires you to, you know, build something like this on your own, stay tuned for next week when I will do a walkthrough tutorial video on how to build one of them for yourself. Okay then, see you next time. <laughs>